Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgia here from Allendale's Trading Floor, February 19th. Markets uh, were certainly active overnight. Uh, corn was up uh, for a while and went right back to resistance for March at that 703 and a quarter. That's been the high here the last several days. We've got to get through that. But uh, we're down right now about a half a cent. So they've given back the rally that we had seen uh, early overnight. Uh, but beans still remaining strong. We're up 18 cents for beans right now. A um, couple reasons. You know, stuff that you read about beans and read about uh, uh, South America's weather, anything that's attached to it here today says there was disappointing rains. So when you hear that, what happens? Beans ignite. So we start to see a, uh, a jump for beans. They're staying strong today. But not only that, China's back from holiday. So they were off all last week. China is back this week. Uh, you've got some anticipation to see some kind of sales out at, at, at 8 o'clock, um, see if they do purchase anything here. So we'll see what happens with that. If they do not, we may get a little pullback here for beans yet. But the trend right now certainly has been weak. We've seen a rally uh, in that March contract up to about the 1450 uh, level once again. We need to continue to see some positive news to really get us going again. But corn's breaking back a little bit right now. Wheat's down about a half a cent, giving up its gains as well. But uh, the big thing that guys are going to watch today is here are these beans. How's that going to, what kind of reaction are we going to get? Are we going to see some sales uh, at 8 o'clock? But some of the outside markets not giving any help either. The dollar up about 12 cents. Yeah, crude oil still trying to climb up about 15 right now. Uh, but we've seen this, uh, we've seen a very strong move for crude. Um, and we probably are going to still continue up to that $100 mark. Uh, looking at livestock today, probably looking at a steady open here for, for cattle. Um, cash markets are going to be the thing to watch this week. What kind of, uh, can we see cash trade stronger? What kind of momentum can we get? We know that the charts looked pretty bad, and we did recover a little bit late last week. Uh, but can we hold that? Is it going to be enough? So watch the cash markets this week. That's going to be drivers uh, or driving us here. Uh, and, and helping the emotion uh, back higher once again. Uh, but as far as hogs, maybe looking at something different. We're probably going to see another week of some sloppy trade. Uh, probably going to see uh, some more chopping here for the next week as far as cash markets uh, and as far as pork prices. So not looking for a big turn just yet for hogs, um, but we're probably a week away from seeing something like that. Uh, but uh, wanted to... Uh, I uh, want to thank everybody for listening in here today. If you got questions, give us a call. Uh, we're here to help you out. Um, you can reach us at 800-262-7538 or check us out right on the web, allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day today, and I'll talk to you a little later. Take care.